All right, hey everybody. Um, today, mobility. It's gonna help me. You do good, good. Um, I'm gonna try to keep it short. Huh. Uh, so the question was asked, so, sorry, it's been a long time since I've done a video. The challenge is over. I want to keep doing these videos as I find conversations with people that I think are worth sharing. I've got a couple in the hopper. Um, that I'll get to. I, I want to do one this weekend. I've wanted to do this one for a while. The question was asked and I got sick. And then my voice was shot, and then I've had a bit of but And the topic's mobility, and I'm going to demo some of the stretches that I do. Uh, so I needed to do it at night, and the lighting's not great, so it is what it is. Um, but when I talk about mobility, I have battled mobility since... I can remember for sure the last 10 years when I started CrossFit and realized what full good mobility was. I didn't really think about it before that. <clears throat> and squatting was very difficult for me. I had pretty good upper body mobility, um, but my lower body mobility was and still is pretty poor. And I've worked at it for 10 years. So some of the things that I have done, I've stretched on my own, which helped. Uh, one thing that, so that's kind of where I started. And if you go to our gym, I will give you specifics on everything, except I am going to fully endorse one product free for them. Um but I don't want to endorse anything else. And there's some books that I have that I don't have the full reference for, and I don't like referencing things that I don't have the full reference for. But there are a few good books that I have. So working on mobility, a good resource would be finding books and getting them and reading them. Another good source and this one I'm not going to say either because I don't want to endorse them because I'm not getting a cut of anything I'm doing this for fun <laughs> um there are at least three that I know of and there's probably more daily mobility apps or subscription services pricing is reasonable I think for what it is and every day, the one that I used to do every day was a new 20-minute or one-hour routine. You can do it in your living room while you're watching the latest television show with dragons or elves or whatever. Um, and it's every day. You do it every day. It gets you in a nice cycle, and it, it's different every day, which I liked. Um, there are, excuse me, stretches that I don't like as much. There's stretches that I do like. Um, but it's nice to have a routine where you're doing things that you don't necessarily like to do and get a little variety. Um, and I firmly believe in finding a good coach and being coached. And that is a good um, option for uh, mobility, having um, an online thing. The next step above that, and this one I started, <laughs> I started yoga year and a half ago I don't remember um, and that helped tremendously that was the biggest jump I made in mobility was doing yoga um, I can fit it in four 
to uh, I used to be able to do it five days a week and scheduling kind of changed. So four days a week, three minimum, four is what I like to do. I use it on rest days and I go to a yoga studio. Again, I believe in <laughs> coaching. Um, you jealous? I believe in coaching. It's nice to go to a studio with other people who will keep you accountable, just like CrossFit. It is nice, um, the variety, because different instructors are going to focus on different things, so you get a little bit different, and instructors will mix, mix it up every day, too. So that's nice. There was something else I was going to say related to that. Oh, uh, one thing I learned when Zeke is in, I got to show this to the camera. Zeke is in my roller. Uh, <laughs> in the studio, one thing I learned from, so I do vinyasa mostly yoga. I like the heated vinyasa most. That's kind of my jam. The sorry, but it just the um thing that I learned and it <laughs> it made sense. Um, I like the twists. So in CrossFit in the weightlifting sports, we don't twist a lot because we want to stay here to protect a loaded spine loaded with external load. In yoga, though, you have no external load. Um, so the twists can get in, especially for me, tight spots in hips around the, the muscles that anchor to your pelvis is where I'm particularly tight. And yoga vinyasa specifically but all of the yogas really helped me with that you don't really twist i learned that i love the twists they really get the specific um tight places that i am so that is my endorsement to supplement sport training with yoga and do it at a studio The specific question I got, and I'm sorry it took so long to answer this, stretches for the hip. So I try to do it every night. I probably do it five nights a week. I set a timer for two-minute intervals, and I hold a stretch for two minutes. That's not a vinyasa yoga. That would be like a yin style probably. I don't know. Yoga people, if you come across this video, correct me. I don't know. I'm not a yogi. Uh, I'm a. I only practice. I don't stretch. Um, I hold each pose two minutes. So total, it's twenty minutes. Um, and the stretches I do, I kind of change it up, <laughs> depending. Oh. <clears throat> I kind of change it up depending where I'm tight or how I feel or like just on the fly and hopefully this video catches it so the stretches i do i start with a single leg um straddle stretch um one foot in my thigh the other foot reaching towards my toes i try to sit up tall and get into my groin specifically this is nice too, speaking of twisting, you can add slight twists into it either way. They hit a little bit different. You could do a minute and a minute. Mix it up a little bit, that one feels good. That one's first. Next one, I take a bolster. If you have a block, you can use a block. I got a block right here. I like a bolster though. Um, or none, but I need a bolster. So. I sit on it, one leg goes long, 
the other leg, I'll show you, I'll switch sides, but one leg is doing long, the other leg is doing, get my view a little better here, the other leg is doing this, and I lean into it. Um, this is nice. You can open your knee, you can open your leg, close the knee, um, lean back more if it feels good, not so much. You can adjust the pressure. If you have the mobility, you can take away the prop. <laughs> I'm not quite there, but even in a pinch, this works just fine. Um, so two, four, six, we're at eight minutes if I was doing it. Um, then I like a, a lizard lunge. Effing cat. Uh, lizard lunge I like. Um, one foot down. You have to move cat. The other foot long. Here is good too. You can twist into it. You can, you could even twist into it the other way. This is nice. So we're at two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. If I did the other leg, another nice one to throw in would be a dragon, which is similar, except now I would be up tall. And again, um, the prop i really like a prop for this one so the last one lizard i should say the focus lizard the focus is this hip you will fill it in the long hip but this hip um specifically and then the dragon would be this the right hip the foot that's back and you're kind of leaning this way into it the front of your hip that feels good you might feel it on the other side too um so that's good so what are we at two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen um so I four minutes left here i i kind of change it up depending how i feel butterflies are good just like you probably did in gym class right pull your feet close you can bring your feet further away you can lean into it more you can sit up tall you can press into it a little bit on one side press into it a little bit the other side that's a nice one or a straddle is nice and this is nice feet can go really wide not so wide um or a forward fold, even feet really close, and hinge here. There's where you see the tightness. That's all I got. So that one's good. You could do a um, I don't remember the yoga name for it. Uh, so this is a hero. I don't remember. Um, both legs we did one leg that's both legs is nice you can put a pad underneath your butt if you need a little support knees can go wide knees can go close use your arms to control the pressure oh i forgot one of my favorites so if i didn't do one of those or another sub that i like uh my pigeon my favorite pigeon uh this shin vertical or sorry parallel perpendicular this way sink into it stay tall tall you kind of feel it in the opposite hip lean into it you feel it in this glute lower back you can come really low pet your cat yeah that's nice um some people don't like this one I'm sure some people don't like all of them that I mentioned. Some people don't like this one. It's uncomfortable on their knee. knee. Their hips don't bend that way. And any of these, if something hurts, it's not 
good and don't do it. Disclaimer? Eh, whatever. If something hurts, don't do it. And it would be best to do it in a studio and kind of learn some things, but get a book. So, that both sides. And then the last one that I like doing, you can do it with no weight. I like using a kettlebell. This one's 35 pounds. But you could certainly use a lighter one or no kettlebell, a dumbbell. A weight plate works fine, but it's not as easy to hold. Um, a squat hold. So I hold and I just kind of rest. My knees, my elbows look like they're resting on my knees, but I'm kind of pushing out on my knees. And then you sink into it. And with poor hip mobility, it is uncomfortable at first. But this is nice, so I'll show you the front. Take a while to get out of it. Bear with me. I'm not 32 anymore. Um, squat down. And you can lean into your ankles more. Left ankle. Right ankle, if your heel comes up, that's fine, as long as you're getting the stretch. We're not, I mean, it's loaded, but it's not a, a squatting movement. There's no load on your spine. The weight is just kind of keeping me balanced and giving me some force, counterbalance, and down force to get in the stretch. Um, you can kind of push more out on your knees, and I like to hold the weight up high getting into that so those are my major oh, major stretches um couple others i don't really do these in my nightly routine but certainly a big part of yoga the down dog is a good one where you're sinking into your heels. Again, your heels don't have to go to the floor, but they should go towards the floor. Sink into your shoulders, hips high. And so there I feel it all through the back of my legs. That's a good one. And this one, if you have back trouble, just be careful. But an up dog, hip sink low. And your chest goes high. That's good for your hip flexors. That's my major ones. And that's why I like yoga, doing it in studio, because there will be stretches you haven't thought about that really help. Oh, like, for example, like a, a gate where one knee's down. And you're just finding sticky spots <clears throat> something like that finding sticky spots that's good i think that's all the stretches i'm gonna quit there because i'll just keep thinking of some um so the last thing a product i endorse unpaid endorsement no affiliation with me or my gym or my partners so right, it is a simple looking tool um, for tr uh, finding trigger points on your psoas muscle, muscle that runs kind of through your pelvis. And you take these points of it. And you lay on it. I don't know if this is going to work for the camera, but uh, oh, there's Zeke again. You'll get the idea. And you want to go slow. And you are using that so right to get into and help kind of 
So they say release, and you hear that a lot. I never really feel a release. I feel it kind of slightly loosen the tension. I don't really feel that release you think, oh, right? Complete releasing that tension. I don't really feel that. It certainly helps with my hip mobility for me and my lower back. My lower back gets tight when I use this thing. It helps. It feels better. I stop using it. Then it gets tight again. So I start using it again. And it's a vicious cycle. I should just be smarter and just use it. But, um, so I'm kind of... I'm kind of getting in here. Rip. So here's my hip bones. In kind of there, wherever I can find that tight spot. And just kind of working. And you can do a million other things with that. So, that did not keep it quick. 20 minutes. Yeah, that's okay. 10 minutes of talk and 10 minutes of stretching. That is my mobility talk. Um, if you have questions, let me know. If you have comments, leave them. I don't respond to them. But uh, you're certainly welcome to throw it out there. Thanks. Say bye, Zeke.